FBG Duck brother, Brick Youngster. You know, he spoke real strong about Le Schoon. Le Schoon is the guy who was just killed, you know, the other day. Uh, real close with MAF Tiski, real close with Bloodhound Lidja. You know, when he died, it was a lot of people spoke out about his death. It was some people laughing and joking about it, and some people was upset. Like Drench Gang, NLMB affiliate, Big Op. He said some shit gonna happen over this death. But FBG Duck Brother says something strong about people doing blogs and hood vlogs and all kind of all kind of hoods and shit. He said he's seen Lil Schoon in like five, six, seven different hood vlogs. Hit the like button. We finna talk about this. Cause I think the message he said was strong. Uh so go on this video a thousand likes. FBG Duck Brother said he was watching YouTube and he seen Lil Schoon in multiple hood vlogs. And he said, that's a problem. You got to be careful being in all these hood vlogs clicking up because you basically inherit five, six, seven different ops, you know, because you hanging in five, six, seven different hoods. That shit could be dangerous for you. When he said that, you know, a lot of people thought about that and said, you know, that make a lot of sense. Not saying that's the reason why this young man lost his life. But Brick Youngster clearly said that. You know, a lot of people got upset with Brick Youngster saying that. He came back and let the world know. At first, he was with the push and peace shit, but he said he thought about it. He not with no push and peace shit. You know, he not, he not, he not supporting that shit. Oh, my bully. He back. Look, I would push it to peace when it comes to the violence and the gay and shit. But when you niggas get to mention the kids and shit, that shit you cannot take back. That shit is not redeemable. I thought that was strong because he was at first saying he with the push and peace shit. You know, this little schoon dev got everybody with an opinion, to be honest with you. It is a DM that leaked that shows uh, allegedly schoon talking to some girl before he was killed. So people saying this girl backdoored schoon. This actually a picture of her that's floating around the internet. I'm not gonna post that because I don't know if this is true. Somebody could be making up this rumor just to put this lady life in jeopardy that quick, you know, off some internet rumors. I ain't gonna do that. Uh, but if I see it a little bit, a few more times, I'm gonna let y'all know. Uh, but they saying, you know, this girl backdoor school. I can't 100% guarantee that because I don't know that, you know, but it's a lot of people saying he was backdoor. Even his mom said people was moving funny and he called them 11 minutes before he was killed. So that backdoor shit do feel like it's real. This is just crazy though, you know, because I ain't gonna lie, I've been watching a lot of documentaries and shit, and I did see Schoom on several hood vlogs, as crazy as that is, so I don't know if that's one of the reasons why he was beefing. I know it's a lot of op shit going on out here in Chicago. You gotta be careful. And that brother had a lot of enemies and shit like that. Um, but I wanted to bring to your attention the FBG Duck brother. And I don't think FBG Duck brother and Lil Schoom are ops. I just think he was just speaking his opinion Basically saying he didn't seen that guy in a lot of hood vlogs, you know, a lot of hood vlogs, man. From this hood, that hood, that hood, that hood, that hood. He was saying you gotta be careful when you're doing that shit, cause you'll put yourself in a position where a motherfucker will backdoor you and you won't even know because you so cool with so many people. It's wild as hell, dog. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's the homie truth. Blech.